King of Sports. You Japan Pro Wrestling. Because he's not wearing sleeves. You got it. And that's Banano, by the way. Banano. All right, there's the bell. Collar and elbow. What a aggressive way to start. And immediately, Hikaleo shoving Alex Coglin away. Coglin, of course, coming back from that neck injury. And Alex really, really ramping up the intensity. Certainly not taking the easy path in his way back. I mean, so strong. He was made of bricks before the injury and after the injury, after he recovered, he's made of super bricks. I mean, look at the specimen of a body that he has. Technical. If I'm building a house, if I'm building a house or a retaining wall or something, I'm going to order my contractor to get super bricks. Look at that beautiful and tight hammer lock. Hikaleo trying to. And Hikaleo using the reach. And now the long arms of Hikaleo clamping down with the front face lock. This is a potential submission here. But Coglin able to sit out and escape and immediately going back to the left arm. The upside for Coglin is he's very technically gifted and so strong. And so when you combine those two factors together, it's very, very effective offense. Yeah. And the bottom wrist lock is broken up by the body slam of Hikaleo. And there's some of that intensity you talked about. Oh, my goodness. And they find ways to get customers. Only the sickos. Another body slam. Wait a minute now. Going to hang him out to dry. Where is he going to go? Wait, Coglin able to slide down off the shoulder. Avoids the clothesline. <laughs> my goodness. Ooh. And an open hand strike to the face of Hikaleo. Tries to tackle Hikaleo, but Hikaleo still standing. Ooh. Hikaleo leans in with that forearm. He's got vicious European uppercuts, this Coglin. Hey, gang, we got Gekiyuchi Claw from Lek. Gekiyuchi Claw? It's a magic cloth that can clean without soap! What? Really? That's pretty cool. Uh... Guys? Ah, 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 ah. This cloth's effective against oil stains! Just add water and wipe the stain away. Oil stain was removed. That's pretty cool. With this cloth, you can clean the dining room table. It's clean! Lions break crown trophy. Let me show you the magic. The cloth, you can dust and even clean the base. It's shining! Checks both Leo Rush and Rocky Romero. 
And DKC is just waiting, waiting, whoever it's gonna be. He just wants to scrap. All right, so Leo Rush will be wise to not take the DKC lightly. And a strong collar and elbow tie-up to begin this tag team match. So Alex Coglin issuing an open challenge to all, any and all comers. We know that uh, Carl Fredericks is the number one contender for the strong open weight championship. And we're getting our first look here at a new team of Leo Rush and Rocky Romero on the road to ignition. Leo Rush now the side headlock. And a nice escape and a side headlock takeover by the DKC, the head scissors. And quickly, both men back to the vertical base. Leo Rush quicker to the punch, another head scissors. This time, Leo Rush escapes. And the drop down, DKC up and over, sidestep the misdirection. And DKC got to keep control and gets hit with the axe kick too, and a kick out. You know, you build, if you built a wrestler in a lab, I don't know if you could do much better than Clark Connors. He seems to have every weapon that there is. It's very true. He's very well-rounded, very solid, very confident. And Romero kicking away at the massive quads of Connors. And now back to the corner. The trap development on Romero is on point is the tag now to Leo Rush. And oh, went, had to go the long way, but Rush was able to get quick enough around Rocky, cover, and he'd kick out at one. What'd you have to? Oh, I'm checking out a new merch on Token Shop Global. Oh yeah, they put out new products like every month. I just got a t-shirt. I got a beautiful towel. I just got boxers. Oh yeah? I'm wearing them right now. I just ordered a mask. Good, the sooner the better, because I don't want to see your ugly face. I love Tokon Shop Global. I as well. give up some size here but Fred Yehi brings both a great amateur background and an intense professional repertoire of moves as we're underway here Yehi is so so fun to watch he's so good look at him look at the way he takes over Mysterioso with ease Fred Yehi is on that short list of wrestling talent around the world that fans have been asking for to see here on New Japan Strong. And you'll continue to see new names, new faces all the time here. And the competition continuing to build as New Japan Strong is really taking hold now. Mysterioso stacks him up. And Yehi able to get out of trouble quickly. Miller messed up the hair of Mysterioso. That is quite rude, to be honest with you. I, I, I still stand by my thought that it, it is part of the mask. But uh, nevertheless, Wheeler Yuta now take it over. The snapmare. Jordan Clearwater, the modern day Superman. Business by day, wrestler by night. Fred Yehi tagged in. Yeah, Jordan Clearwater, unlimited potential. We've seen him continue to improve. Wow. Look at the ability of Yehi to be able to take down the bigger Clearwater. And Jordan Clearwater getting reps against a wide variety of talent. I'll be interested to see what Alex Coughlin does issuing that open challenge and we'll see who will sign their name to that open contract. It could be anybody at any time, but I have a feeling that uh, the list of opponents for Alex Coughlin could be short. That's not somebody I would want to tangle with. And the same for Fred Yehi. Just knows so much about pro wrestling. Every type of hold, every type of situation. And even in tag team situation here. Now bringing Wheeler Yuta back in. So far. 